My name is Lance and Jonathan. My name is Charles. Hi. Seven years ago, our was diagnosed with depression, schizophrenia. I came from a small, I came from a town in the middle of D.C. and North Carolina called Richmond, Virginia. I, 30, and I came to Philadelphia, and I've been here for 30 years. And I was just diagnosed, never knew it. And then I got into the community called Project Home. They kept me strong and steady, and I know where I'm going. One day, I was laying down, and I got a phone call. It was my case manager telling me that Charles, they have an audition going on for this play at the Asian Art Institute. She said, I think you can do this. I laid in bed, Saturday morning game, I said, oh shit. Okay, let me do it. I'm gonna try. So I went there. When I went there, I met the actor and actress who were doing the play. And to realize this was a real play. And it was 10 people around me who were auditioning, and they said they only had six parts. So I thought to myself, what am I doing here? You know, they was homeless people from shelters all around. They was doctors, they was lawyers. They was educated. And when they read that script, they read it so good. I didn't know how to do it, but I just stuck to it. So when I went home, I waited two days later. I got a phone call, and they said I made it. I have a part in the play. And the name of the play, and it's on YouTube, y'all can find it and get it. The name of the play was What Fuse Developed. It was uh, from Los Angeles property department. So we rehearsed, we rehearsed. So when the day came, I met all the actors and actresses who were in this play. I was a feeling. So one of the actors, he came to me. He just walked in and just came to me and hugged me. He never seen me before. He said, I'm sit beside you and I'm going to teach you how to act. So we had three days for the play. And I learned, and I got my strip right. We had sold out for three nights. <coughs> and then after the play, the audience cheered me, and I was proud, and I was happy. I did it right, I did it good. And three days later, they called me from Los Angeles, California, and said they got a big production coming up, and they want me to come up there next month. <laughs> <laughs> they housing me, they flying me there. <laughs> and then I look up and the brother, his name is Kevin Michael K. I was about to cry because he was an angel that came to me and he said then he told me, he said, I have counsel. He said, I don't have none there. He said, I'm gonna give you everything and teach you how to do this. And today, when I'm talking to y'all and telling y'all this, I got a call yesterday and told me the man died. So in honor of him, I'm staying strong wow. and I'm staying bright. Yeah. And what I lost, I got back. I got my family back. Amen. I got my strength. Yeah. And I'm going to be a motivated speaker. I'm going to keep all this back. So I thank God and I thank the mental health community. Yeah for giving me the strength and teaching me everything. I hope a whole lot of people get into the mental health community who have mental health because there's so much help here. And you don't have to ask for it, you just go and get it. It's right there. So I thank all of y'all, and I'm happy and I'm proud. Woo!